Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This lesson today is a test. A test of your Spanish. A1 to A2. Beginners. Test of, test of your pronunciation. Pronunciation. Exactly. So what we thought we'd give you a, a slightly different test because it's one thing to be able to choose out of a, out of three sentences which one's right, but it's another thing to be able to pronounce. So as a beginner, one of your first jobs is to learn the alphabet and learn the sounds and learn the special sounds that Spanish has. Yeah. Yes, I would say it's very important to to learn how to pronounce properly because absolutely you could be saying the right things. Uh, grammatically, but if people don't understand them, what's the point? Exactly. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Just like that Morgan and Wise thing where he said, no, I'm saying all of the right notes, but not necessarily in the right order. <laughs> it's the same with it. I'm saying, the, I'm saying the word, but not necessarily in the right way. <laughs> okay. It's very important. Lots of people leave pronunciation out. Just don't bother with it. They just stay with their own accent. And that's okay, but... Mm, people are gonna, not going to be able to understand you probably. It's okay to have your accent Yeah. when you learn another language because it's difficult to get rid of your accent. Sure. But it's uh, knowing how to pronounce the word in the other language Yeah. and also have your accent in the way. <laughs> absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and also, if you want to, you know, if you want to get people to understand you, you've got to be able to pronounce it in the way that they will understand. Yeah. So it's a uh, pronunciation is 50% of learning Spanish. I, you know, I would say it that much. Yeah. So we've got this test. Okay. So we're going to show you the word. I bet Spanish speaking people are going to do this test as well. For like sure. They've done yeah. the other one. I know. I know. <laughs> loads of, loads of Spanish people. Hola, los nativos got, de español. Yeah. <laughs> I got 10 out of 10 <laughs> and I was so proud of myself until I remembered that I was a native speaker. Yeah. This is A1, A2, eh? Yeah, but hey, whatever. Horses hey, for courses. Sí, sí. Bienvenidos. Correcto. Sí. Muy bien. Vale. vale, Gordon. Okay, so we're going to show you the word, give you a few seconds. You've got to pronounce it out loud as you're watching it. And then Cynthia's going to pronounce it properly for you so that you can hear it. And I'll have a go as well. So before we start, what we want you to do is this. Get your phone out get the find the recording on you where you record on your phone and we want you to record the word as we show you it and then listen to the way that it, Cynthia pronounces it and then listen to your recording right because it's difficult to hear what you say it's sometimes easier when you listen back okay mm -hmm. good idea okay muy bien okay so number one Prefiero. Prefiero. Mm. This one is a very commonly mispronounced word because of the the extra, the vowels all over the place. So it's prefiero. 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 Yeah, you can read it slowly if you want to. You could do it by by syllables as well. Uh -huh. Prefiero. So listen to that. Oh. Yeah. Pre, 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 pre. Prefiero. Yeah. Not pre. No, not pre, 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 no, pre, 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 pre prefiero, mm -hmm. ese re, pre. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok, next one. Vale. Número dos. Beber, beber, beber. Mm -hmm. Beber, so the B is a B. Be, be, be. Mm -hmm. and, and that, remember the E sound is not, it's, it's not long, be, be, beber. be. Beber. And the R at the end is also strong, mm -hmm. beber. It's not beber, beber. Uh -huh. Yeah, re, re, beber. Beber. In some countries, you'll hear beber, and then they'll, beber. They'll, they'll, they'll drag it out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Muy bien. Número tres. Okay, this one is vivir. Vivir. Vi so the I is E, mm -hmm. and the E is E. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one is vivir, not vivir. Vivir, no. The V is B, vivir. Okay. Vivir and beber, same B sound. So you'll hear the slightly different variations depending on the country, but generally the rule is that the B and the V both sound like Bs. Yes. Okay. 
And that's why lots of people make mistakes. I'm talking about native speakers. Yeah. Between the V and the B. A lot. If it was different, then they would make those mistakes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's the same uh, B sound. Beber, vivir. But the vowels are different. Mm -hmm. Numero cuatro. Oh, I like this one. This one's a fun one. Okay, go for it, hon. Male. So you've got to start this word by saying as, okay? So, <laughs> ascensor. 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 Now remember the pronunciation that we're showing you is a pronunciation here, a received pronunciation in Spain, okay? Clearly, if it's a Latin American pronunciation, you're not going to get this as. Yeah, in Latin America, it would be ascensor. Much ascensor. easier. Ascensor. Mm -hmm. Because we have the C pronounced as C with when it goes before the E and the I, this would be as censor. So you've got to get this. Yeah. Interesting. Like when you say national national health service. National health health, health service mm -hmm. as censor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, número cinco. This one is it difficult? This one? Well, it is because mm. of the J. Ah, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah, of course. So, this one would be aguja. Aguja. Okay. And I'm going to say something here because Cynthia's pronounced that J beautifully. Aguja. But when you said quickly, aguja. You, you, aguja. you don't hear the J quite often. For example, when, when you talk, when you say agua, agua, often the J is not strong. And I've heard people say, aguja. I don't know. A soft G. I would, have, I would say aguja. Aguja. Un aguja. Hmm? Okay. Definitely not aguja without the G. Hmm. Aguja, yeah. I don't know what Gordon said, but... He I've hears, heard, I've he heard. He hears many things. Agua. <laughs> Agua. 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 Hmm. And aguja. But since so you pronounce J... it so beautifully. <laughs> Just for you guys, when we turn this off, <laughs> I just say whatever. Uh, but the J is G. Okay, the J and the G with the E and with an I is G. Mm. Yeah? But the J with all of the vowels. Ja, ge, gi, ho, hu. Yeah? And that's why when we laugh and we write, we put J, A, J, A, because it's ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. Or ge, ge, or gi, gi. Yeah? It's not ja, 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 ja. <laughs> Uh, numero seis. <laughs> numero seis. You're going to run out of fingers soon. Yeah. Mm. Azúcar. Azúcar. Mm. Azúcar. Mm -hmm. With the emphasis in the U because the U has the tilde. So that's the emphasis. Azúcar. Exactly. So again, the Z here in Spain is a th. th. So you get the azú. Azú. Yeah. And then note, listen to how Cynthia is pronouncing the R on the end. Can you do it again? Azúcar. Again, at the end, R. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the end of the word. Azúcar. Don't, don't, don't end like we do in English where we oh. would just do K. Azúcar. No. Azúcar. Yeah. Or, or, or you elongate the vowel. Azúcar. Uh, like yeah. when you say car. A yeah. car. No. I get, you have to pronounce the letters. Uh, there are only a few that you don't pronounce. Like with the G and the U, with it, um, all of that. But in this case, you do the R, you do azúcar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And número siete. Gordon. Very important for you to learn this for those who, <laughs> who want to order it because it's very popular here in Spain. So Go I would it. say jamón. 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 Again, jamón. Ja, jamón. And don't don't hold back on the here in Spain. Don't hold back on that sound, the J sound. Okay, in other countries you'll hear it very aspirated, but here in Spain it's very strong. You know what I find funny that some people say I can't do the G sound. However, when they um, they do the accent, they pretend the the, the, the chicken. No, the chicken. Oh, chicken. The chicken. chicken. Where is uh, that from? Liverpool. Liverpool. When they do that in English, they can say chicken. That's no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they can say jamón, <laughs> even though exactly the same sound. To say exactly the same. Um, 
se oye o log, like uh, log. In, in Scotland, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, número 8. I'm thinking of someone. So <laughs> Ok, número 8 es necesito, necesito, again, the C-E, C, necesito, necesito mm -hmm. mm, un abrazo, a hug. Mm -hmm. Oh, ok, oh. baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Necesito. That's a, it's a word that catches a lot of people out because, um, again, because of the amount of vowels that are there. If you're yeah. not sure where not the emphasis, vowels. there's a lot. Th thoroughly has more vowels. Surely, but uh, <laughs> but this is a foreign, like a bloody foreign language. This, There's never mind bringing English into it. If you are unsure about where to put the the <laughs> emphasis, the natural available has more more vowels. <laughs> it's always got to complicate things. If it weren't complicated enough. If you're not sure where to put the emphasis on a word, oh, I love the, the, there's only out of these, uh, I think only two that have something over the letters. The rest have natural emphasis. If you want to know, Dildes. go into Dildes, yeah. go into our um, all the episodes on on our um, video casts and look for the nose rule. Just do a search for the nose rule. That will show you how you know where uh, the accents and the emphasis goes. Okay. Muy bien. 